Can you take a step backwards, please? And we're going now, so when you're ready, please. See the camera, we're off. Sorry, I, I'm not supposed to do that, am I? What do I actually do? I'm Steve Collins. My name is Andre Boyan. My name is Elaji Saka Job. Caroline Abla. My name's Carmel Dolan. In the context of community based SAM treatment, where should we focus our efforts over the next 10 years? I think we should be focusing our efforts on increasing government ownership in order to ensure that domestic resources are increasingly allocated to scale up the treatment of SAM. I see there's two areas that we need to focus on. The first is actually getting management of severe acute malnutrition really taken up and owned by the health community so that it's seen as an essential health service. And the second area is really to focus on how we can actually get this demand issue addressed. So looking at strategies for, to really get community demand for this programme. Extending coverage, this is the key issue. The more treatment, the more children we treat, the more lives we will save. We absolutely need to increase the number of children that receive a, a treatment from the 10% which is today to at least 80%. Engaging the community, ensuring that the community do understand the existence of the CIMAM program. Absolutely on increasing access, access to treatment and access to screening at the community level so mothers know that their child is malnourished. Ensure that some children are catch at the early stage as possible so to avoid complications. Mobilize the community so that they will be able to take up this program and accept malnutrition as a serious condition which can uh, affect the children. I think that we should try and look at how to simplify the treatment of, um, of acute malnutrition uh, and, and make it in a way that is safe to use at the lowest level. Collaborate together and share information much more effectively between ourselves but we also need to improve the way that in which we're working with other sectors, for example the health sector, we really need to improve this. I think we should focus on demand creation, creating more understanding and awareness of the programme at community level. We should focus on reducing barriers to access by decentralising programmes. We should focus on actually bringing real competition and independent regulation and certification to the IUTF market and we need to focus on geographic expansion into high burden areas such as India. The real challenge is making CMAM work as well as we know it can work.